So I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on Teams and in how to specifically upload a, an image into your own personal channel that I will have created for you guys. Um, so we're in our Hand Building One Summer 2020 team. These are all of our channels. You should be tuning into these when we're not meeting during class. These are always available to you whenever you log into your Teams. And um, so we have here, I'll just show you real quick, general. We've got a big clutter of information here. That's why we have all these other channels is to more specifically uh, categorize things. So I've begun by uploading images and tutorials into our assignments. So A1, A signifies assignment. One is the first assignment. And I'm doing that to keep them all lumped together because as I upload into these channels, as I create new channels, actually, it's going to put them in a, an alphabetical order. So that's just going to keep everything uh, clear for us. So if I, I've clicked on this Pinch Pot channel, and within this channel, you can see all these various tutorials that I've uh, put together and linked to in the channel. So these assignments, this is where I'm putting information. S, that's where S stands for student. So we've got student two over here, Lyndon B. Johnson. So Lyndon's going to be clicking on this channel and putting his information in this specific channel that's just for him, just for him. So only upload into your own personal channel. Um, and I'm going to be updating all these assignments periodically. And just to note, you may want to start looking around, uh, looking forward to the future. This is the sixth assignment, coil rolling, but it's going to be of great benefit for you to learn how to roll a coil much sooner than after midterms. So keep looking at that. Um, subscribe to the Clay School Santa Fe YouTube channel. That's going to really help things out for you because then you'll get instant notifications of when I'm uploading a new tutorial. So back to these channels. Now, I don't see my name over here. This is a problem, right? Because I created this. I know that my student name should be here. But look, four hidden channels. What's this all about? Well, in Microsoft Teams, unfortunately, or maybe it helps with clutter, I don't know, but we can only display 10 channels at a time. So if I don't see the channel that I know I'm looking for and if I want to just see what is happening. There are hidden channels. Click on over to this carrot. Click on that. Uh, some more tutorials, some more things going on. Oh, S1, Eric Gellert, that's me. So I'm going to click right there and look. I've got a couple of uh, cups, images of cups that I've already uploaded. And I wanted to upload a third one. So I want to upload my pinch pot assignment. And I know, look over here, this is my image that I wanted to upload, this beautiful pinch pot that I created. And first of all, I want to look at it a little more closely. So I'm going to, this is a Mac, I'm going to right click on my Mac or control click. And I'm going to open this with preview. Now, checking out the size. This is important because I don't want to overwhelm our channel with information so we only need to have these so big uh, if they're too big they're going to start to just overwhelm the system so resolution is at 72 I like that that's perfect for on-screen viewing we don't need to print that printing is like 300 plus dpi or pixels per inch um, width and height those are very large uh, I really want to change those I'm going to change this to 14 100, my longest dimension, any picture that I'm going to be uploading. And then that is automatically going to change the smaller dimension. Okay. I'm going to click OK. Another thing that I want to look at here is my file name. So my file name is this img.777 whatever.jpg. The only thing I really want to keep out of this file name is the .jpg. I want to change the rest of that so it's a little bit 
easier to organize within our uh, system. So it's easier to find things later on. So I can click on this little carrot here and it shows me the name, what it is. And I can click right there. I want to keep that dot JPEG. So I click just to the left of the dot and I'm deleting this info. And this is assignment one, A1 dot, and it's a pinch pot dot Eric. There are no other Eric's in the class. If there were, I'd put my last name as well. And return. Now I've renamed this file and it's going to be a lot easier to find uh, later on. So if you are a student who is not particularly following the assignments, simply uh, name it whatever it is, mask.charlie.jpg something like that, so we can find it easier. Now, I've clicked into this Start a New Conversation box. Uh, I want to upload that image, so I'm clicking on this little uh, paperclip file icon. It may say something other than this. First of all, it may say searching, up, waiting to upload, something like that, something weird, and then just, if it says that, either wait or click again if you're impatient, and you want to upload from my computer, click there. And it's on my desktop, right? Very good, perfect. And there it is, A1 Pinch Pot Eric. So I can either double click on this image and it'll bring it up, or I can click on it once and click open. Oh, this file already exists. I must have already uploaded this somewhere. I'm going to replace it. it must have been some other tutorial I was giving. I don't know what happened there, but not important. The status bar is working. That's what this green thing is. And this system, it takes a little bit of time to upload images for whatever reason. Um, so now I can see my cursor is blinking. I don't see an image. Let's see if I click return. It says uploading, please wait. Sometimes if I click return, an image will pop up directly here, but I think once you've got too many images, it doesn't like that anymore. So if your image doesn't show up, it is still available and it's still fairly easy to find. But I need to, this is not very intuitive, I'm afraid, but bear with me. Click on Files, left click, Files. And now all of my files are showing. It's still in this list file mode and that's not very easy for us visually acute people, people who want to see what's happening to find what we're looking for. So I am moving over here to all documents and I'm going to left click on this carrot. So you can see it's in list mode. That's the default. But if I just scroll down to this where it says tiles, click that. Now we're going to see very nicely our images. Okay, so then I can click on that, it'll blow it up, and there we have it. You can click on your own, I can click on yours. Once you've uploaded them, you can click on another student's and look at their work as well. And we'll be talking about those images at a future time. So um, that's how this system is organized for you guys to upload images and hopefully find work easily. Just remember, file name with your assignment so it matches up A1, the particular piece, if it's a pinch pot, hard slab, whatever it is, you know, and your name. That's very important. .jpg, 1400 pixels at the longest dimension, 72 dpi. All right. Good luck, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.